for those who haven't seen this before, I live in an apartment building in downtown St. Pete, so there's not a whole lot of space for me to do my work. <laughs> and even less space to like store stuff, so I just got a storage unit, and you know, it ended up being my shop. <laughs> I shouldn't be using it as a storage unit, uh, technically, because they, you know, landlords wouldn't want that. And, uh, but it's okay. I do it discreetly and not very often. Um, and I don't do heavy, messy projects, but I'm gonna show you around. So as you can see, I kind of split it up here. I got some lesser used stuff in this section, but bulky anyway, like hats. I got some extra uh, cases that I'm sorry, aren't for sale. I gotta save them for my growing team, but I'll let you guys know when I order more. Um, I got stuff like business cards and tattoo supplies, stuff like that, uh, table covers. And then on this side, this is the side I spend most of my time on. And we get to use these nice large carts. So the garage is down that way, and you can pull your car in, close the door, air conditioning, it's fantastic. Even this whole place is carpeted and air conditioned. I don't think I'm gonna find another place like this anywhere else, but anyway. <clears throat> so I got my shirts. I got cases of shirts. I got all kinds of odds and ends, like let's see, we got koozies, v-necks, beanies. These are left over from events that I've done, and I'll save them for the next time. We generally just do t-shirts, hats, and bags. I would say those are probably most are most common things. I even got pennants. These go back probably six, seven years. I haven't done one of those in forever. Pillowcases, tote bags, and you can see how I organize it. I use tape just so I know where to find the information I'm looking for. It's just out there. Guys, I know it seems a little bit anal retentive, but you know, sometimes when I'm rushing for an event and I gotta set up really quick, load my truck real quick, it pays to have everything organized. I don't forget things. I even have lists of things to remind myself that if I'm doing a standard event, I need to bring all these things or at least make sure that I have them already. I got shipping times for UPS or FedEx. Actually, that's FedEx. I got other lists for like tattoo events or if I'm doing a marketing event for NACA or AFCA. Air travel. Special things that I need to just set up when I'm traveling for air, you know. So it saves me time and it keeps me consistent. A lot less mistakes if you stay organized. I got shirts here. I got a travel air compressor. This is a new compressor I just bought. I use Senkos, in case you're curious. Uh, that's my kit that I use on a daily. This is a new kit. I'm gonna make a, not a kit. This is a new box for compressors. I'm gonna talk about that in another video. That's one of my older kits. Sorry, that's not for sale either, guys. <laughs> I say kit, you know, it's an airbrush station, tabletop airbrush station. By the way, this is what it looks like when it's set up. Bam. So tabletop, everything fits inside this case. Am I selling them? Yes. They're not cheap. Guys, just so I'll let you know right now, they're $2,400, okay? Because it costs me more than half that, $1,400 in materials. With the way inflation's going, it's probably up to fourteen, uh, fifteen or 16000 now. Excuse me. <laughs> Fourteen or fifteen hundred dollars, and then there's the assembly and ordering all the parts and collaborating. You know, like getting this sent to someone to put the anodizing on it, having these custom printed, these little plastic parts. Get this whole frame is done on the computer. Like I don't have any of this equipment, and it's a good thing. And I have everything outsourced. This is my travel air compressor. That's a Iwata. Um, PowerJet Pro Tubular. Believe it or not, this is the air tank. How clever is that? See, you can see how the compressor feeds into the handle, which is hollow, and that serves as a little air tank. So when you're running this, um, it just takes a few seconds to charge that up. So basically, when you press the airbrush trigger, the compressor will start almost immediately, and then you let go and it stops almost immediately, which is fine. It's only 50 pounds of air pressure, so it's just barely enough. So anyway, and then I do my work here. You know, I got toolbox, I got a compressor. If I need to do some airbrush artwork in here, which I don't do very often, so I'm too busy with other things. I got to prep this air compressor. I'll show you how I prep it in another video. It's a brand new one that we just bought. Um, oh, I'm making these hat stands for bucket caps. See, that fits right over that. So. When I'm done, this is gonna be a makeshift uh, prototype for a hat stand. I like this design, but I think I might come up with something later, a little later on. 
I got breath mints. <laughs> I got all kinds of stuff in here.